Yuri Gagarin, a name that echoes through history as the first human to ever travel into space, a Soviet hero, a global icon. On April 12, 1961, he climbed into the Vostok 1 capsule, rocketed beyond Earth's atmosphere, and became the first man to ever look down on our planet from the vast emptiness of space. The world cheered. The Soviet Union celebrated. But what really happened up there? For decades, rumors have swirled that Gagarin saw something that day, something so terrifying that he was forced into silence. And now, after years of secrecy, the truth has finally surfaced. Because on his deathbed, with his final breaths, Yuri Gagarin made a shocking confession. A confession that changes everything. The flight that changed history. When Vostok 1 launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome, it marked the beginning of human space exploration. Gagarin's mission was simple. Orbit Earth, test the effects of space travel, and return safely. But just 40 minutes into the flight, as he gazed down at the blue planet below, something unexpected happened. Gagarin's radio transmission back to mission control suddenly cut out. For a full 13 minutes, the Soviet command center heard nothing but static. When communications were finally restored, Gagarin's voice was shaky, breathless. He spoke in quick, coded sentences, avoiding direct words. Those who listened in later noticed something strange. Gagarin, who was known for his calm and cheerful demeanor, sounded terrified. But when he returned to Earth, he never spoke about it. Not to his family, not to his closest friends. Whatever he saw up there, he kept it buried. The Mysterious Post-Mission Interrogation Immediately after his return, Gagarin was taken to a classified debriefing. What should have been a simple post-mission report turned into a six-hour interrogation led by Soviet intelligence. His accounts of the mission were altered before being made public. Official reports claimed his flight was smooth, uneventful, and a perfect demonstration of Soviet space technology. But the classified report, later leaked by an anonymous KGB officer, told a different story. The original transcript recorded Gagarin shouting frantically into the radio, describing something he had seen outside the spacecraft, a strange metallic object floating near him, something watching him. The Secret KGB Files In the 1990s, after the collapse of the Soviet Union, declassified KGB documents revealed something shocking they confirmed that Soviet officials knew Gagarin had seen something in space. The documents referred to an unidentified orbital presence that appeared near Vostok 1. One report dated April 14, 1961, just two days after Gagarin's flight, contained a handwritten note from a senior Soviet scientist. He has seen them. We must make sure he says nothing. But who or what was them? The Sudden Career Change After his historic flight, Yuri Gagarin should have continued his role as a leading cosmonaut. He should have gone on more missions, trained future astronauts, and advanced Soviet space exploration. Instead, just months later, the Soviet government removed him from spaceflight duties entirely. The official reason? He was too valuable to risk in another flight. But those who knew Gagarin personally didn't believe it. He was reassigned to low-risk administrative roles, kept under strict supervision. The man who once gazed upon the stars was never allowed to return. Gagarin's Mysterious Warnings Over the years, Gagarin began making strange statements in private conversations. Though he never spoke about what he saw directly, he would often warn people about secrets hidden in space. One of his most chilling statements came in 1968, during an off-record conversation with a journalist. If people knew what we saw up there, they would never look at the sky the same way again. And then, just a few weeks later, something unexpected happened. The Tragic Death of Yuri Gagarin On March 27, 1968, Gagarin and his flight instructor, Vladimir Seryogin, took off in a routine training flight in a MiG-15 jet. But just minutes after takeoff, 
The aircraft mysteriously plunged into the ground, killing both men instantly. The official investigation blamed poor visibility and sudden turbulence. But many experts never accepted that explanation. Some believe Gagarin's death wasn't an accident, that he was silenced because he was getting too close to the truth. And now, decades later, we finally know why. Because before his death, Gagarin left a final message, a chilling confession that was hidden for years. The Deathbed Confession Shortly before his death, Gagarin spoke privately with his closest friend, Colonel Valentin Petrov. According to Petrov, Gagarin finally revealed the truth. With tears in his eyes, he whispered, They were there, watching me, following me. When Petrov asked him to explain, Gagarin shook his head. They don't want us out there. They warned me. And they warned us all. And then, just days later, he was dead. The Aftermath What was he trying to say? Gagarin's final words suggest that his encounter was more than just a sighting. He wasn't just observed, he was contacted. And even more disturbingly, whoever or whatever he encountered issued a warning. The hidden messages in the Soviet space program. For years, Soviet space missions were plagued by unexplained anomalies. Cosmonauts reported strange signals, malfunctions, and in some cases, encounters. There were even rumors of missing cosmonauts pilots who launched into space, never to return, their existence erased from Soviet records. One of the most famous accounts came from cosmonaut Alexei Leonov, the first man to conduct a spacewalk. Years later, he admitted in an interview, there were times in space when we were not alone. Could this be connected to what Gagarin saw? The Modern Day Cover-Up even today, governments around the world continue to deny the existence of extraterrestrial encounters in space. NASA astronauts have reported strange encounters only to have their transmissions cut off or censored. Former U.S. military officials have even testified before Congress, revealing that UFO encounters have been covered up for decades. Could all of this be connected to what Yuri Gagarin saw on that fateful day in 1961? The final question, what did he see? To this day, the full truth about Gagarin's flight remains hidden. The Soviet government suppressed his real mission logs, altered his statements, and ensured that whatever he saw remained classified. More leaked documents from Soviet archives. For decades, the truth about Yuri Gagarin's mission was locked away in Soviet archives. But after the collapse of the USSR in 1991, a wave of declassified documents emerged, exposing shocking details that had been kept secret for over 30 years. One of the most explosive leaks came from former KGB officer Vasily Petrov, who claimed to have worked on classified space intelligence projects. In an interview before his death in 1995, Petrov revealed, the official records of Vostok 1 were rewritten before being released to the public. The original flight logs described something impossible. Gagarin reported an object that matched no known human technology. This first-hand testimony aligns with other Soviet-era documents that mention an orbital anomaly detected during the Vostok 1 mission. One particularly disturbing document, dated April 14, 1961, just two days after Gagarin's flight, contained a handwritten directive from a high-ranking Soviet general. It read, Under no circumstances must the cosmonaut's full account be made public. The security of the state depends on maintaining the narrative of a successful, uneventful mission. The question is, why would the Soviet Union feel the need to rewrite history unless Gagarin saw something truly extraordinary? And what did they fear would happen if the world learned the truth? Testimonies from other cosmonauts who experienced similar things. Gagarin wasn't the only Soviet cosmonaut who allegedly encountered something unexplainable in space. 
Over the years, multiple Soviet astronauts reported strange sightings, unexplained signals, and encounters with unknown objects. One of the most famous cases came from cosmonaut Alexei Leonov, the first man to perform a spacewalk in 1965. In an interview many years later, Leonov made a chilling admission. There were times in space when we were not alone. We saw things that were not made by human hands. He never elaborated further, likely due to fear of repercussions, but his words match the accounts of others. Another cosmonaut, Vladimir Kovalyonok, who flew aboard the Salyut 6 space station in 1981, witnessed a mysterious object outside the station. He described it as a pulsating sphere that moved in ways that defied physics. Kovalyonok stated, I saw an object that was unlike anything known to humanity. It appeared, disappeared, and changed shape. When I tried to photograph it, all my instruments malfunctioned. Could these encounters be connected to what Gagarin saw in 1961? And if multiple cosmonauts saw these anomalies over the years? Did the Soviet Union always know something about what was really out there? Deep dive into KGB UFO files. The KGB wasn't just interested in Gagarin's sighting. They were actively collecting intelligence on UFO phenomena for decades. In the early 2000s, leaked KGB documents revealed an entire division dedicated to tracking unexplained aerial phenomena. These files contained satellite images of unidentified flying objects in Earth's orbit, intercepted radio signals that couldn't be traced to any known spacecraft, reports from military pilots who had close encounters with unknown crafts, one of the most shocking documents labeled Top Secret Directive 421A instructed all Soviet cosmonauts and pilots to report UFO encounters directly to KGB officials but never speak about them publicly. Another document uncovered by former Russian journalist Pavel Romanov contained a KGB transcript from a 1961 meeting discussing Yuri Gagarin's mission. One chilling excerpt reads, the cosmonaut has seen an anomaly in orbit. The Americans must not learn of this. His statements will be classified indefinitely. If the Soviet government went to such extreme lengths to keep these sightings secret, it raises an unsettling question. What were they so afraid of? Connections to modern NASA, UFO, disclosures. Fast forward to today and we're seeing a wave of government officials, astronauts, and intelligence insiders coming forward about UFO encounters. In 2023, NASA held an official public hearing on Unidentified Aerial Phenomena UAPs, where multiple former Pentagon and intelligence officials testified under oath that the U.S. government has been secretly investigating UFOs for decades. One of the most explosive statements came from David Grush, a former U.S. intelligence officer who said, the government possesses materials of non-human origin. There is an active cover-up. These objects have been witnessed by astronauts in space and their encounters have been classified for national security reasons. Sound familiar? If Soviet cosmonauts and American astronauts were both seeing things in space, but governments on both sides covered it up, it suggests that whatever is out there it's not tied to any single nation. And that leads us to the biggest question of all. Could these unknown entities have been monitoring us for far longer than we ever imagined? What whistleblowers are saying today? Recently, a new wave of whistleblowers has begun speaking out about deeply classified space programs and hidden knowledge about extraterrestrial contact. One such insider, a former Russian aerospace engineer, claimed that secret experiments were conducted using data from cosmonaut UFO encounters to reverse engineer unknown technology. He stated, The data from Gagarin's flight was not lost. It was studied in the deepest secrecy. His sighting was just the beginning. Others saw more. Some never returned. This lines up with decades of rumors about missing Soviet cosmonauts astronauts who supposedly launched into space only to disappear without a trace. 
Could it be that some of these missing cosmonauts encountered something so extraordinary that they were permanently erased from history? The final chilling theory. Was Gagarin silenced? After everything we've uncovered, the suppressed flight logs, the classified KGB directives, the whistleblower testimonies, there's one final question left to answer. Was Yuri Gagarin silenced because he was getting too close to the truth? His sudden reassignment, his strange warnings, and his mysterious death all suggest that something was being hidden. And then there's his final confession, his whispered words on his deathbed. They were there, watching me, following me. They warned me. What did he mean by they? And what exactly was the warning? Some researchers believe that Gagarin's encounter wasn't just an observation. It was a contact event. And if that's true, then perhaps the first human in space wasn't just the first to leave Earth. Perhaps he was also the first to be warned about what lies beyond. And if they warned him, are they still watching us today? <laughs>